Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to Sweet Home California. I just got in the mail today my uh, recall ballot and a little information guide here. And I was reading through it and I have to share some things with you here. It's just uh, tickled my funny bone. So, um, you know, the Republican Party did not have the backbone to endorse any candidate. Uh, Larry Elder, I, I feel, is far and away the, the leader of the crowded Republican field of like 28, 29 candidates, and uh, they wouldn't endorse. However, the American Independent Party, American Independent Party endorses Larry Elder. So maybe I should switch parties to the American Independent Party because they actually uh, had the guts to endorse somebody. So anyhow, that's great. Um, Vote Larry Elder. Uh, your absentee ballots are probably in the mail this week. Um, get those in. Um, you can uh, turn them into your polling place. Um, I would recommend that over the mail just because um, that way you know it actually got into the hands of someone. Um, but I also wanted to share with you the uh, statement of reasons for the recall and the governor's answer because that's kind of funny too. All right, so the grounds for the recall are as follows. Governor Newsom has implemented laws which are detrimental to the citizens of this state and our way of life. Laws he endorsed favor foreign nationals in our country illegally over that of our own citizens. People in this state suffer the highest taxes in the nation, the highest homelessness rates, and the lowest quality of life as a result. He has imposed sanctuary state status and fails to enforce immigration laws. He unilaterally overruled the will of the people regarding the death penalty. He seeks to impose additional burdens on our state by the following, removing the protections of Proposition 13, uh, which governs uh, property taxes and making sure that they don't um, rise as fast as uh, what the housing values are going, uh, rationing our water use, increasing taxes, and restricting parental rights. Having no other recourse, we the people have come together to take this action, remedy these misdeeds, and, further, and prevent further injustices. So what does Newsom have to say to this? Does he say, no, you're wrong? Um, here's my proof of all the wonderful things I've done? No, this is what he states. This is in all caps right here. Warning, this unwarranted recall effort will cost California taxpayers $81 million. It is being pushed by political extremists supporting President Trump's hateful attacks on California. Um, well, at this point, it's a little late because the recall is already happening and whether or not, however people vote on this, the $81 million is already being spent. So he just wasted some time telling us stuff that doesn't matter in any case. In 2018, California voters elected Gavin, Governor Gavin Newsom by historic margins. As governor, Newsom is working to, one, increase funding for public education, two, protect and secure California's health and health care, Three, improve water, roads, and bridges. Four, address the challenges of housing affordability and homelessness. And five, prepare for the threats of the wildfires. Our budget is balanced. Our fiscal reserves are unprecedented. Our economy and employment are historically strong. Yet a handful of partisan activists supporting President Trump and his dangerous agenda to divide America are trying to overturn the definitive will of California voters and bring Washington's broken government to California with this recall effort. Uh, that's interesting. Washington's broken government. Uh, that's Biden right now. Um, so anyhow, the last thing California needs is another wasteful special election supported by those who demonize California's people and attack California's values. Do not be fooled. California's police officers, firefighters, first responders, public school teachers, health providers, and business leaders all strongly oppose this costly recall. And then this is also in all caps. Do not hand over your signature, your support, or your personal private information to this destructive recall scheme. I think this just shows yet again how ridiculous Gavin Newsom is. Um, recall scheme. I mean, it's already happened. You're being recalled. It's already in this book. The ballots are already out. And here you're, it sounds like you're making a statement for why people shouldn't sign where they've already signed. It's already done. You are going to be recalled. Um, it is not just a handful of partisan activists. 
And I really doubt that the police officers and firefighters and first responders and business leaders support you. You may have the, the school teachers because you gave them, you know, a year off with pay. But, um, yeah, I don't think anybody else is really supporting you. And as for uh, the five things that you are working for, well, what have you really done? Increase funds for public education. Well, where's the results? You know, our kids are, are doing terribly. You know, we're, we're near the bottom of the list for uh, reading and arithmetic and all the standardized tests. Uh, protect and support our, support our health care. Well, I'm, I'm not really too much into that, so I can't really answer on that. But improving water, roads, and bridges. Our roads are terrible. You know, there are potholes all over the place. In my area in, in Southern California, there are more roads that are dirt roads than are paved. So I don't know where all the tax money goes to. Um, as for water, you know, we've got another dam that isn't generating power because there isn't enough water in the reservoir to run the power plant. And also they just... Uh, stopped 5,000 farmers from receiving water in uh, the central Kern County area. You know, the breadbasket of the United States, the breadbasket of the world, and we just told 5,000 farmers you can't have water to see your harvest, to see your what you've planted all the way through to harvest. So, um, you know, just destroying our small farms. Uh, let see, what else did he claim he did? Address the challenges of housing affordability and homelessness. Well, you just need to go drive through uh, past any overpass um, and you'll see just how effective that's been. Uh, prepare for the threats of wildfires. Well, I showed you in a video yesterday all the smoke that was in my backyard. You can't even see the mountains a few miles away because of all the, the smoke that has come down into our area from the latest fire, uh, fire that Gavin Newsom has helped to prevent, or rather did not help to prevent. So anyhow, now is the time. If you have this in your in your mailbox, um, fill it out. Make sure you keep it someplace safe. Turn it in. I would prefer that you just turn it in to your polling place. Make sure it actually gets to someone and you don't have to worry about it getting lost in the mail. Um, but uh, you got to vote in this election. You got to vote yes to recall Newsom and you got to vote for Larry Elder uh, to replace him. And uh, we'll finally get through this. So anyhow. Thanks for sticking with me, and um, you know, God bless California, and God bless America, and we'll get through this. Keep the faith. Thanks. Bye.